Hello everyone, welcome to Edist. Today we are going to look about another hiring alert that was really a great news for all the 2022 pass outs that Tata Consulting Services TCS is going to hire for all the 2022 pass outs as a part of the national qualifier test. We call it as TCS NQT. I said this is a really great news because every year TCS is going to hire a lot number of candidates than any other company and this was really a great opportunity if you could make it out but don't worry follow me along through this video at the end of the video you'll definitely get enough confidence to crack this job. So In this video, I'm going to discuss about three things. One thing I'm going to discuss about what is about the company. And the second thing we are going to discuss about the test pattern and the eligibility criteria and also the interview experiences. And the third thing we are going to talk about how to crack this company. So let's not waste our time and dive into the video. And before going into the video, so if you like our hiring alert segments, please do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also do check out the hiring alert playlist in the Edist YouTube channel. There you will find many number of relevant job videos so that you can look into the videos and you can apply them and also as well as do check out edis.com slash jobs. There we will post numerous of relevant jobs for you. So that would help you to land into your dream job. And here comes the good news guys that Tata Consultancy Services is going to hire you for all these uh, 2022 pass outs. The role that they are going to give you is for the assistant systems engineer training. And one thing you need to remember is that the registration is going to end at August 15 and the registrations have already been started. So please not waste your time and go to the website and register yourself. Uh, so let's look into the eligibility and other details. So for one thing, are you looking out for the job link? It would be always in the description. You can go check out and uh, register there. Please do register after watching this video so that you will come to know what all the things that is needed and what all the things that you need to be improvised. So the eligibility for this particular job is that any undergraduate or postgraduate uh, that is from who is all for B, B.Tech, M.E., M.Tech, M.C.A., M.Sc. or any specialization that is offered by university or college and most specifically they should be passed out in the year of 2022 and the salary range would be around like 3.36 per annum that's 3.36 LPA and also the work location would be anywhere in India the locations are quite probably like Mumbai, Delhi, Delhi NCR and uh, Hyderabad, Pune, Chennai. So that would be of your choice and I'll talk about how do you choose your own location, uh, preferred location to get into this uh, job. There are always many more beneficial things in TCS and also talking about the programming languages that you should be very much good to crack this job. Any general purpose languages like Java, JavaScript, C, C++ and Python and you must be very good at quantitative aptitude that way differs you to get into a good NQT score and let's discuss about the company what is all TCS for all those who don't know I hope there will be no one who doesn't know about TCS TCS is short for Tata Consultancy Services it is an Indian multinational information technology services and also a consulting company mainly so it was headquartered in Mumbai, Maharashtra in India and TCS has a very largest campus that is going to be located in Chennai uh, in Tamil Nadu like as of the stats of 2021 TCS is the largest IT services company in the world by market capitalization the services uh, that is going to offer is that it is going to offer outsourcing consulting managed services and the revenue for this company is per like uh, 23 billion as per the resources of 2020 and it was founded in the year of 1968 and it's been 53 years and it was founded by Tata Sons that's all about the short about the company and talking about the quantitative aptitude section you must be very good here because the NQT is uh, the test pattern is all about something like 120 minutes roughly so most of the criteria is about quantitative aptitude if you have a good score at quantitative aptitude and even if you're not able to perform better in coding also that would be a case that would take you to into the selection criteria of the written test pattern so let's look into the how would be the written test the written test is divided into two parts the part A is like numerical ability, verbal ability and reasoning ability as you can check out the focused concepts that you need to learn. I hope better you take a screenshot here that would be helpful to you in the preparation or pause the video and uh, write down the concepts. And this is an expected syllabus. I hope 80% of the syllabus this would be repeating. And the concept here coming in the numerical ability are number system, arithmetic, elementary, statistics and data interpretation. And the test duration would be like 40 minutes because there would be a very limited time and you must win in the race between time and accuracy because you should be very much accurate and there are no negative marks in this exam. 
and also coming to verbal ability it is very simple it was like elementary verbal like you have uh, faced your english in the 12th standard or in your elementary high schools so that would be enough and also you need a little preparation and i'll tell you how to prepare and where resources that you can check out and coming to the reasoning ability do check out this concept that would be very really helpful for you and uh, talking about the programming logic and that was the part b and there were programming logic it is a 15 minutes of exam it consists of mcqs the mcq should be around you can expect sql sql and mcqs and also you can expect some uh, code snippets from uh, python if you choose python or java i hope uh, there is a lineage that you can choose before you're going to exam like python or java most of the candidates choose python because that was easy for this sort of particular exam but don't worry if you're enough confident in java that was really good to go and in the programming language we consist of logic we consist of 15 uh, minutes for the exam and the mcq should be around code snippets and sql questions and coming to the hands on coding it would be consist of two questions the two questions are like it was a part of there were a math problems that would be given in this coding concepts and also uh, a little bit of arrays uh, that would be good if you're good with arrays and uh, data structures no, not that was good with the ds algo but a little of uh, Uh, math would be really helpful to you the questions are very lengthy you must be very much good with your concepts like the function concept function declaration and also the with the variable declaration that would be good good enough and you'll definitely crack this and the time for this coding uh, it would be around 45 minutes and this was the first round of the test and there would be elimination the cut off score would be like 1200 and something like that and the best thing with the tcs nqt is you'll get to attempt this uh, and you to test and it would be like uh, if you have a best score then you can also you can also like eligible to apply some other companies that would be a, a come under the domain of tata consultancies from the best score they will hire you based upon your nqt score two companies are going to hire you so the 1200 plus would be a good target for you and there was another uh, wonderful opportunity for you from this tcs nqt the base package that would be offered is 3.36 and if you want to upgrade after selection and interview if you are selected in within 3 months they will conduct a digital capability assessment so in that dc assessment it was only pure coding consists of data structures and uh, and mathematical approach of programming so then you will have a chance to convert yourself into 7 lakhs package so that's what uh, the beauty in this tcs nqt and moreover it is going to hire a lot number of candidates show your spirit and uh, you will definitely get into this and uh, next things we are going to discuss about the interview experiences so the interview would be last around 40 to 45 minutes based upon the interview panel and there would be three rounds conducted on the same day uh, so these days the interviews are going to be virtual the virtual interview expected process would be something like this and the technical round the managerial round and the hr round will be at the simultaneously happening within a span of 20 to 30 minutes for each round for each uh, tr rounds so the three panelists would be like uh, same zoom meeting or it would be like on a webex meeting most probably so the questions that will be they asking is that they would be very simple they will ask you some uh, basic database questions and also your project questions what you have mentioned in the resume and the hr would be as uh, the mr would be something like they'll ask you about the new trends in the technology they'll ask you about what is your proficiency and what is your knowledge on this upcoming trends like artificial intelligence augmented reality or virtual reality or uh, cloud computing and it would be really beneficial for you if you do any professional level certificates professional level certificates in the nines that i don't include any udemy or coursera that would be really good if you go and hit Uh, something like salesforce administration certificate or aws solution architect certificate that would be really high for a student yes but if you can do you can definitely do them also that would be a really great add on to your resume so that you will definitely select so uh, that's all the interview process it was really comfortable for you and the hiring people are also really help friendly to you and you can uh, definitely pass through the interview if you are having a good communication skills and clear the written test so let's look into the portal once so this was the edist portal as you can see there are lot number of jobs that we keep on updating so please do check out these jobs also and uh, try to apply for them also if you have the eligibility or else you can share to them uh, share to any of your friend or seniors who is in need of job and do you think that he was fit for this job and you can also check out some other details 
and these are the complete structure of this sorry i said 120 minutes it's 180 minutes of complete uh, examination pattern 120 minutes is only for the cognitive skills you can see the weight is here at the cognitive skill that's where it differs the candidates from getting good score so let's look into the registration page and this was the registration page and uh, it was quite simple go check out this page and happily read about other instructions that was given in the page where i have missed it and you can check into the portal there are do complete steps that how to register and you get some dt number as ct number as per as your registration process is going to happen and let's look into the preparation strategies that's what very important so do not worry guys we made your preparation very easy and you're going to check it out the python programming intro to advanced course if you're going to get excel in this please do check out the link in the description and also check out the java programming and here comes the the best course for you for to prepare for this nqt we have specially designed a tcs nqt preparation pack for you you can go check out the link is in the description that would help you to increase your quantitative section and also the programming logic and also the uh, coding questions that you can definitely crack this up this would be great supplement for you to crack this up so that's all from today from my end guys thank you for joining me all the long with the video and like do you have any other queries do not hesitate to comment in the comment section down below i'll try to answer them as soon as possible and you can also check out the numbers here if you have any queries or any technical support that you are needed you can always whatsapp or call to our numbers our team is very friendly and going to help you as soon as possible and you can also mail at our team and team at the rate of edis.com and for more information please do check out edis.com so that's it all from our guests so i hope you had a best preparation all the best for your careers and hustle hard